Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a free music box in-game by completing the Greymore Collectible Achievement and Instrumental Triumph and the quests associated with it. Upon completion, you will be awarded with Music Box Mead Merrymaker, which plays this song. I will play the full version at the end of the video so you can get a sample of it. There will be time links in the about section below so if you want to skip over some parts or if you're only missing certain pieces you'll quickly be able to jump to those sections in the video. Uh, I will also show you the, these pieces in order of efficiency in getting them so that you aren't jumping all over the map back and forth. So let's get to it. First up, in order to begin the quest and the achievement you will need to own the Greymore chapter. You will first need to begin the quest, so we're going to head to the Bard's College in the town of Solitude in Western Skyrim. When you arrive, you will meet a bard named Lyborn, who tells you that one of their members took their prized instruments. They don't, they don't know where they are located, uh, but this person left clues to their locations in a song that she wrote. He tells you that he solved the first verse and that the instrument is being sold at a secret auction which will require you to wear a disguise and speak a specific phrase in order to gain entrance. Make sure you remember that phrase, but if you forget it, don't worry, I'll tell you. As soon as you accept the quest uh, orchestrations, you can press E to put on the Sapphire Society disguise. The next step is to travel to the location of the secret auction. At the door, you will need to select the correct phrase in order to gain entrance. Select a jewel of blue rules the view. Once inside, you will speak to the auctioneer who will tell you that he already sold the instrument and he can't tell you who bought it since that would break confidentiality rules. He did tell you that the person that purchased it was an obnoxious drunkard. You can speak to all the auction goers, but all you need to do is look for the NPC that looks drunk. When you do speak to the drunk woman, you can purchase this loot from her, but she doesn't have it on her. Take the drunken note outside to her husband who will read the note and you will be given the first missing instrument, Petroloop. Go back to the Bard's College and place it in its display to finish up the intro quest. Liborn tells you that he left a copy of the song with the clues on the table. After you examine it, you will see the clues as to where the remainder of the instruments are. But don't worry, you won't need this because I'm going to show you where they all are. Um, now complete the quest and then you're free to go out and find all the pieces. First we're going to start with the Western Skyrim map and then we're going to go down to Black Reach for the rest. The first instrument is Jarlsbane, which is located here. Next up is Tenderclaw, located in Shadow Green Delve. Next up is Jahar Fusoja in Swords Point Watchtower. Next is Shadow of Rajin located in Dragonholm Delve. Next is King Thunder, located inside Mor Khazur. The 
The next instrument is Lodestone, which is located in Carthwatch. The next is Lily Tongue, which is located in Chill Wing Depths, Delve. The next instrument is Long Fire, located in Dragon Bridge. Next up is Dozen Tal Harpa, which is located south of Shadow Mother's he Heaven. Next is Shriek of Silk, located in Morthal. And next up is Sky Talker, located in the public dungeon, Labyrinthian. Now this is a public dungeon, so you may need a group. The last piece on the Western Skyrim map is Kothringi Leviathan Bugle, which is located here. Now we're going to head down into Blackreach and find the instruments down there. First is Chime of the Endless, which is located here. You can reach it by jumping off the bridge into the area below. Next is Riemann Wardrum, which is located at the end of this mushroom jumping puzzle. Next is High Morn Dizzy, located in the Scrap Stove. The next instrument is the Asian Fife, which is located in Silver Snow Mine.
Next, we're going to head into the uh, Nichuthinkarst public dungeon to find the loot of Blue Longing. The last piece is the pan flute of Morcellus Hag Husband, which is located here. Once you have all the pieces, head back to the Bard's College and place them all in their displays. Once you do that, Go back to our friend Liborn, and he tells you that he is so excited that all the instruments are back, and to celebrate, there will be a gathering of the bards. He then gives you a quest to spread flyers around town, letting everyone know about this event. After you spread the flyers, return to the bard's college, and you will find Liborn outside. Turn in the quest to get the music box, and that's it. You can sit there and enjoy the celebration, or zoom over to your house and place your new music box and enjoy the music. Here's a sample of the entire song. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed or if it helped you out any, and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you in Tamriel. Bye!